My name is Mark Payne and I'm on Wujari Country. I've worked here as a second generation abalone diver for over 30 years. This part of the coast is probably one of the most scenic parts of the coast anywhere on the planet. But it's cold and it, it's extremely rugged. And I think that ruggedness just engraves something into you to really respect and appreciate that environment. Abalone diving isn't for anyone. You've got to love nature. And you've got to like being alone. We work alone underwater all day long. It's a, quite a scary environment for some people. We're working in the pathways of white sharks and we've just got to use the best tool available and I think you'll find most divers will say our cage is our, is our safest option. Yeah, our cages, they get around the bottom pretty good. And we get around at about one and a half knots. Our cages are driven by hydraulics, so oil. So you've got oil lines that go up and down and they drive the propulsion system. Then you've got air inside of them and you've got backup air, so scuba cylinders. And then you've got hoses that do signals, whistles back to the surface. So there's a whole combination of hoses within that umbilical cord. It's quite safe and it's a great little haven and a a good little spot to be in, you know, when you're diving, just to feel comfortable when you're in that environment. Basically, abalone is a mollusk, and it sits on the seafloor, and it feeds on seaweed like algae. So quite often, we'll just park our cage alongside an abalone patch, and then we'll just hop out and move around that cage, collect the abalone, and then bring them back. I personally work right next to my cage because of my experiences and I tend to look a lot as well. I think experiences with white sharks, they can vary a lot. They're always different. You can get that really nice experience where you just see the white shark out in the distance. You see it like using the structure and the environment, changing its angles and swimming along the seagrass edges and you can just see how the camouflage works and, and just how they use their stealth so well. Such an amazing experience just seeing how they operate. Um, something that you just do not see unless you're an abalone diver. And then the other experience is where they get quite motivated and they can be quite aggressive and you find yourself hiding. They're coming straight at you and you're trying to fend them off. Sometimes if a shark comes in, you have to confront it. My first experience was that traumatic that I spent the next 12 months diving, looking over my shoulder, terrified. In that situation, that shark was about a three and a half metre female. I drove head on at that shark probably 10, 15 times. And it'd just turn and go away and then turn around, come at another angle and just kept coming at me and coming at me. And I just kept doing that for 20 minutes. As you're wondering, you know, when's it gonna hit me? When's it gonna bite me? I would not like to have been down there without a cage. I think I'm, I might have been in a bit of trouble. You're basically in the control of the shark when you're in that situation. So, you know, you've got to like slow your heart rate down and try and do whatever you can to try and convince that shark not to eat you. And then you've got to be lucky as well. This isn't a skill. Quite often it's just luck. Over time, I just learnt to just try and move that shark on and get back on with the job. It's a great place down there. It's just one little problem we've got to deal with. It's about being able to work with sharks in that environment. Sometimes I get seen as not much of a conservationist, but I, I really am a big conservationist. I think a lot of fishermen are. I spent a lot of my time out in the ocean collaborating with scientists, looking at seal counts and you know, sending information through, talking to turtle specialists, penguin specialists, 
in a shark specialist and communicating what I'm seeing out there on the ocean. The fishermen are the eyes of the sea. You know, we're out there the whole time. Being underwater, working with all these amazing animals all around you all day long and, and you're learning how to deal and manage that situation, it's actually a really exciting environment to be in.